You know, I wanted to share something that's on my heart pertaining to coming to Christ and being able to discern who's really his and who's not. You know, as a babe in Christ or someone who's not really mature in the faith, it can be kind of challenging to discern between the differences of who's who. And, you know, sometimes you're going to have to learn the hard way a little bit because depending on who you connect with, you're going to kind of see for yourself as the Lord gives you wisdom and, and revelation of the true intention of that person. And, you know, what I've learned along the way is that just because someone moves in power in the Spirit of God, like casting out demons, healing the sick, okay, uh, doing signs and wonders and miracles, like you can have all of that. You can be moving in such power because the power is not in you. It's in the Lord. It's his name, the name above all names that causes even darkness to tremble. The demons know and they tremble at his name. It's not anything to do with that person. It's because of Jesus that these things can manifest and be done in that way. But don't be easily impressed by those things because what happens is that when you start to desire those things more than the very person himself, you start to lose sight of your true purpose. You know, I feel like my purpose is to know the Lord, is to love the Lord God with all my heart, soul, and strength and to love my neighbor as I love myself. That is the true purpose you know, God, as you continue to, to cultivate that relationship with him and develop that intimacy with the Lord, um, from that place, you will experience an overflow in different areas and he will go about it in the way that he sees fit. You know, if the Lord wants you to talk to someone and all of a sudden the spirit of God moves upon them and they get deliverance, great. If, if the Lord wants you to touch someone who's sick and all of a sudden they get healed, well then great. That is the Lord doing that work in you, but it has nothing to do with you. God is still going to judge your heart. You can move in all kinds of powers and wonders, but if your heart is not right, God's going to judge that first. And so my advice to anybody who is in the Lord, do not be easily swindled by the entertainment that you see especially when it comes to the powers of, of, the, of the spirit. If the fruit of that individual is bad, if the fruit is rotten, then that tree altogether is bad. The Bible says that a, there is no way that a, a good tree produces bad fruit and that a bad tree produces good fruit. It just doesn't make any sense. So you always want to look for the fruit. That's how you know if that person is sincere. That's how you know if the tree you're eating from is good fruit. A lot of people are eating from a tree that's bad. They're eating rotten fruit and they're ingesting that into their spiritual walk with God. And partaking in that is not going to draw you closer but further away, deeper into a deception that is far from the truth. That's why the Holy Spirit is going to help guide you into all truth. That's what the Word of God declares. So we constantly need to test every spirit. It doesn't matter who they profess themselves to be. I've seen so many people who've exalted themselves in positions that they're not even called to. Many times have I seen that. That's why even for myself, you know, with the fear of the Lord, I am careful not to step into something that I don't belong in. God doesn't call me into that position. I'm standing down. I don't care how cool it looks. I don't care how much attention that person is getting. It doesn't matter what they're doing that makes them look so righteous before everybody's eyes. If God doesn't call you in that position and you're doing it for the glory of man, oh, you're going to get your reward, but it's not going to come from God. So we have to be discerning in this hour. We have to really investigate the fruit, look closely, ask the Lord to reveal the intentions of that person's heart. And, you know, don't find that revelation of that person and then try to, like, beat them up with what you see. No, like, instead, pray for them. Whatever God reveals to you, it's not for you to be in fear or for you to, you know, start acting like, oh, you know, I need to just completely just be rude to that individual. No, like, pray for them. Pray that the Lord have mercy on their soul. Pray that God will turn that around, that he would fill them with the, the, the Holy Spirit, if they're working in witchcraft, that God would get a hold of them, that they would operate in the spirit of the Lord instead of the spirit of the world. So 
just be mindful of the fruit. That's what you want to look for. And you know, people that are just coming to Christ, it's going to take some time to cultivate that fruit. So don't be so quick to judge somebody either just because they just came to, to the Lord. There may be some things that are, you know, obviously even with agriculture, you know that when you plant a seed and, you know, it's a long process before something starts to sprout. We can't expect things to happen overnight. So be wise as a serpent, innocent as a dove. Innocent meaning speak no evil, okay? Don't be so quick to speak against somebody. If you don't have revelation about them, if God hasn't enlightened you to the truth about them, I'd be very cautious with how you speak about somebody because they could very well be in the Lord and just be going through the sanctification process just like you are. We're all being sanctified right now. All of us has a story to tell, okay? Everyone comes from a different background. We all have sin, okay? And we all fall short of the glory of God. And the Lord alone gets all the glory. He alone is the reason why we're even here in his kingdom. By his grace and mercy, did he, he draw us in. And through our faith, believing, we have entered into that relationship with him, our faith in Jesus Christ. And now we can call him Father. <laughs> so I think it's really important that we focus on the fruit and um, just don't try eating from anybody's tree. You got to be discerning on what tree you're eating from because the tree that you think is good, it could be bad. You know, the Bible says that even Satan himself disguises, himself disguises himself as an angel of light. So it's no surprise that his workers will disguise themselves as, as workers of righteousness. Think about that. Workers of righteousness. They're not, they're not blatantly looking like they're, they're working of wickedness. They're looking like they're workers of righteousness. Okay. So many people have the appearance of godliness but deny the power, which is the power is the Holy Spirit. For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power. Okay, and so that is the Holy Spirit. And, and denying that, but they're walking in this appearance of godliness, which a lot of, you'll see a lot of times in religion, right? They all have the look of it, but deep inside their hearts are far from God. They don't even know him. So my advice for you guys who's listening, that be weary about who you are under, who you are listening to, who you are receiving from. Make sure you pray about every person. Make sure you take it before the Lord, that you're led by the Spirit of God, and that you're not just trying to just eat from any person because you never know what type of fruit they're feeding you. This can be a hindrance, you know? This can be a stumbling block even for your walk with God. And I believe that the, if you're seeking for truth, okay, that you will find it, okay? The Holy Spirit will always lead you into all truth. So as long as you continue to seek the Lord, He will always guide you. Even if you go astray, He will always redirect your path on the path that is right. Thank you, guys. I just wanted to share that word. I felt like this is so important in this hour to be very discerning with who we are following, who we are submitting ourselves to, who we are looking up to. We must see the fruit. We must be able to identify the, the real from the fake, the wheat from the tear. And you have to have righteous judgment, not your own judgment, because your judgment can fail you. You must have righteous judgment. And that is only obtained by what the Holy Spirit can reveal to you, okay? You must have a relationship with God in order to really know the truth. And only the truth can set you truly free from whatever it is that you've opened yourself up to, whether it's doctrinal, whether it's relational, whatever it is, the Lord can restore and redeem. He can cause things to turn around for your good, but you need to seek him in all of your ways. The Lord God says, do not lean on your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So God bless you guys. Um, I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen you and give you wisdom and insight that he would lead you into all truth. In Jesus' name, amen.